In this video I'm going to show you how to paint a flame really quickly using contrast paint and in the spirit of the video let's get going straight away. So the flame itself I've base coated it with um, Corax White and the first colour we're going to use is a Yandon Yellow contrast paint. We want to get this on all the lower areas of the flame, kind of work it up a little bit. You can see it's got really nice yellow colour there so I want to keep this about there just make sure you've got it working all the way down cover all the bits in it's a nice yellow flame to start so clean your brush off and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some Griffhound Orange with this Griffhound Orange contrast paint what we're going to do is we're going to paint the top bit there and we're going to paint into that yand and yellow a little bit you might notice I'm going really quick on this and just wipe that paint off your brush and then you can start to work it in together and you can start to see now that this flame colour is starting to come together really easy really simple then once you've finished with the Griff Child, oh, Griffhound Orange Take some Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint, and we're going to paint this towards the top of that flame. And what this is doing is, as we paint it, it's just going to kind of blend in a little. So you've got a nice bright flame there. The last colour we're going to use for the red is some Flesh Terrors Red, and we just want to use this towards the tips of the flame. Around there, so my brush is probably a little wet, so just want to work that back in. And then we're going to take some black Templar contrast, and we're just going to pop that kind of right on the tips as the fire starts to smoke a little bit and kind of get away from from the brazier, just like that. So I'm going to let that take for a little bit. And you can see that I've actually got a bit of a white streak down the middle of the flame there. So I'm just going to take some yand and yellow again. And the reason I've got that there is because my brush was too wet when I was actually applying the, the paint. So there we are, just move that round. We'll let that dry. And then we'll come back and we'll see if we need to highlight it and tidy up any of the bits that we've already worked on. Once that's dry, it's looking pretty decent, it's not too bad. But what we want to do is maybe just add some highlights on it. Now this part's totally optional, you don't have to do this, you can just leave it there if you're happy. But what I'm going to do is take some Flash Kits Yellow, and I'm going to highlight kind of about halfway up the flame, just along some of the edges, down towards the bottom where the flame will be hotter. So that's nice and simple, nice and easy. Just add some extra interest on there in terms of the kind of yellow colour. Next thing I'm going to do, after I've cleaned my brush off, is I'm going to take some Dawn Yellow. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same sort of thing. But just kind of thin aligned really. Just working down towards the kind of the bottom, we've got the kind of internal parts of the flame here where it's going to be hottest. So just work your way on there, work your way down. That just gives you a little bit of added brightness on the fire. So it looks quite nice. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take some white scar what we're going to do with a white scar is we're going to use this to kind of look a little bit like ash. So all we're going to do is we're just going to pop some dots of white scar kind of all around the flames. Not, you know, too much. Just go with what works for you. And this is just to kind of represent little flecks of ash flicking up from underneath with the braziers burning. 
So there we are, I'm happy with that. It's a really straightforward, easy flame to paint. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like and a comment down below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of all my newer videos. If you want to save 20% on your Warhammer, you can do using the link for Goblin Gaming at the bottom of the description. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.